Hi friends, it's Joan at Ten Pentacles Tarot, and I'm really excited because I just got my latest shipment from um, the Hay House Card Club, and um, the Card Deck Club, rather. If you want to look it up, Card Deck Club by Hay House, um, you can get information on how to join. And this month, we've gotten um, two brand new releases in June 2024, and one early release July of 2024 okay so um, what so the the two that are going to be released or that are going to be released in June of 2024 so these are all actually early releases are guides of the hidden realms Oracle by Colette Baron Reed and um, written it was written and illustrated by Colette Baron Reed and then we have the um, 22 Archangels Oracle by Kyle Gray. This is also a June 2024 release. And then this July 2024 um, deck is coming out in another month or two. A month, yeah, a month or two. And so um, I'm going to review this one today. And then my next two videos will be about the other two brand new ones. So um, the description here on my card from the Hay House Card Deck Club uh, says um, this is the Ancient Stones Oracle, a 44 card deck and guidebook by Rebecca Campbell with artwork by Katie Louise. And it says, um, rediscover your sacred connection with ancient stones and harness their wisdom for healing, protection, and guidance. This activating Oracle card deck invites you to consciously connect with stones as wisdom keepers. Recognize their incredible power in transmitting wisdom and unlock a sacred connection that for many of us has been severed in our lineages. All right. So this is a um, heavy cardboard box now. Rebecca Campbell's boxes often come with this shape and it's really unusual. And this is the first time I'm actually opening this box. So it opens like that. And then the cards and book are in it. But let me show you the outside first before we carry on with that. Um, so this is what the front looks like. And then the sides are like this, this. And then it says, Rebecca Campbell is a writer, mystic, artist, ritualist, and mother. She is the founder of the Inner Temple Mystery School Training, and her creations are dedicated to weaving the sacred back into everyday life. Katie Louise is an intuitive spiritual artist whose visions of the cosmos celebrate all that's pure and beautiful in our universe. She draws inspiration from the magic that surrounds us daily. And then there's contact... Um, websites for them and I will include those in the description box. So this deck is going to be um, $24.99 in the U.S., $33.99 in Canada and again it will be released in July 2024. Now this box is a little, okay, just have to kind of wiggle it. Alright, so this is what the inside looks like and it says in there it says, Ancestors Protect Me. And again, Ancestors Guide Me in the bottom of the box. It's very neat. All right. And I haven't, this is the first time I'm looking at this with you. I'm taking the paper off of the card, so I've not even seen them before. Let's look at the guidebook. This is a a matte finish uh, soft cover fat little guidebook which means it's packed with lots of good information and look that front inside page is glossy which is kind of interesting the ancient stones oracle guidebook and here it lists a bunch of all card decks and books um, and meditations by Rebecca Campbell and again this is going to be out in 2024 for in July and there's table of contents acknowledgments introduction our sacred guides wisdom of the stones and then the ancient stones reflections folklore and myth my journey with the ancient stones answering the call the magic and mystery of stones, wisdom keepers, 
reaching back to our ancestors, working with stones, sacred stones, megaliths and monoliths, um, stone circles, wise ones, holders of memory, crystals turned to stone, connecting with our ancestry, crystals and precious stones, the sacred stone thread, stone rituals, uh, stones to heal and protect, and then the oracle, working with the ancient stones oracle. So then it says about the oracle, ancient stones oracle attunement. And then it gives you an attunement um, to say how to read the cards. There's a five-step reading. Um, it leads you through that. Deepening your devotional practice with the oracle. It talks about altar work, meditating with the cards, integrating the cards guidance, soul inquiry, ancient stones activation, using the oracle box. It shows you different ways to use the actual box um, in your readings or when you're using your cards. It shows like um, you can put two cards facing each other like this. Oops. Like that. So. Okay. And um, it says the wisdom stone. What I'm seeing would be one card and what I'm not seeing would be the other card. That's interesting. There's a sacred mountain spread. A stone circle spread. That, and these are all used in the box. A um, record keeper spread. So we can do some of those in future videos if you're interested. The stepping stone spread. I like this. Okay. And then the cards. Okay. So for each card, there's a small um, grayscale picture of the card. The name of the card. And then key phrases and words, and then a description of the card, and then there's an Ancient Stones Activation, which seems like um, these are just um, well, I'm going to say, I can't think of the word, oh my gosh, my mind just went blank. Affirmations is what I want to say. So they're like affirmations. At least this one is. It says, I embrace all that I've created. I welcome flow, success, and ease. I don't know why I couldn't think of that word. Okay, and so each card is like that with the picture, the title, key phrases, the description of the card and meaning, and then the activation. Okay, so that looks like, and every card has, you know, about two pages. So it goes like that through all the cards. And we'll do a one card reading at the end. So... Um, you can see how the book is written because that's always important. And I like the fact that there's a bibliography at the end and uh, about the creator, Rebecca Campbell, and about the artist, Katie Louise. And then it talks about the You Are the Oracle card reader certification, the Inner Temple Mystery School accredited training by Rebecca Campbell. And... That is it. And this, of course, is about the um, free guided meditations you can get. Okay, so that's that. So let's look at the cards. They are reversible. They are mm, pretty heavyweight. Uh, matte finish. Yeah, heavyweight. And again, there are 40 for them. So... Um, here is the ancient, the first thing is the ancient stones oracle attunement. On the back of this card you'll find the attunement and it um, gives you that. The first part of it is come, come, ancient stones come, ancient ones, positive ancestors, you who are present long before me and you who will continue after I've gone. I call upon you to activate this oracle to be a vehicle, vehicle of healing insight, protection, and grace. I call upon you to bless these cards and forever guide me to connect with the wisdom deep within. May I tune to ancient knowledge. May I be held steady by your strength and surrender. May I stay curious and grounded with every step. May I find the courage to walk the ever-deepening way of the ancient stones. May these cards deliver clear messages and reflections to me and all who use them. May these messages and reflections be of the highest and deepest benefit for humanity and the earth. May these cards reveal what's unseen and act as gateways for me and who I'm reading for to connect with the wisdom deep within. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so that's nice. 
now I've said it, so I'm all set to go. All right. Um, so like I said, I'll show you the cards and then we'll do a one card reading so that you can see what, how the book is written. Okay. So card one, alignment, and these are in alphabetic order. It's coming together, precision. So each card has the title and the keywords or phrases. We have ancestral messages, be the mountain, boundary stones, the calic, and I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, the cave, creativity, the cycle breaker, dancing with stones, the edge, the egg stone, energy rising, the entrance stone, find your center, the gateway, good luck, the guardian stone, hag stone, the healing stones, hidden treasure, the holy mountain. These are very beautiful cards. Lay it on the altar. Live the question. Not forgotten. Nothing is impossible. Obstacle. Have your, pay, I'm sorry, not have, pave it your own way. The records. Releasing the past. Returning. The road is clear, the sanctuary, scrying, the secret chamber, see the beauty, oops, sorry, singing stones, soul agreement, stepping stones, stone goddess, Stone of Destiny, Temple, the Volcano, Weather the Storms, and Wisdom Keeper. All right, so those are the cards. Let's see how they shuffle. They're really stiff right now because I just got them, but they seem to shuffle well. They don't seem to stick together. That's really, I that's kind of a deal breaker for me if the cards stick together. These, no, these, these that go well. It's easier for me to do the sideways riffle because my fingers are a little shorter, so that's easier for me. But if you have, like, longer fingers, you'll probably be able to do the riffle easily with these. All right, so let's do a one card reading and see what Spirit has to say to us today. Spirit, what what message do you have for us from these cards? What would you like us to keep in mind or think about or consider today? What message do you have for the viewer today, Spirit? Is the road is clear. All right, so it says the key phrases are, you know what to do, walk it your way. You know what to do, walk it your way. All right, so I'm going to set it up a little high so you can see it while I read the meaning. Okay, so, and that's alphabet. Excuse me, that's alphabetical. So road, the road is clear. Here it is. So they're easy to find. Um, okay, it says, You've been working toward this moment for a while now, stone by stone, carefully paving the road before you. It's your time now to walk it, to journey ahead without wavering. You know what to do, and you know how to do it. The road ahead of you is clear, and success is on the horizon. Be bold and truly go for it. Expansion and ease are here. You're ready to do what you came here to do. 
Remember, you've been working toward this moment for years, decades, or even lifetimes. If you ask a question, the answer is yes. If you're querying whether you're ready for something or if the time is right, the answer is yes. If you're wondering if you have what it takes, the answer is yes, yes, yes. Enjoy the next phase of your journey. You've earned this moment, this flow, this prosperity, this progress. You're going to make it look easy, but it's likely this is the result of years of being devoted to your path. As you walk it now, remember to walk it your way. Own your path because there's no one who can walk it quite like you. And the Ancient Stones activation is, I'm ready to walk my unique path in a way that only I can. I love that. I'm ready to walk my unique path in a way that only I can. And you know what? I like that so much. Let's do another one. Let's pull another card. Spirit, what... Whoops, let me flip that back. Spirit, what else does the viewer need to hear about today? What else should the viewer think about or consider today? What message do you have for them? That one. It's not... this. The card is called Not forgotten and the key words are messages from spirit unbroken connection all right so let's look it up not forgotten stones are among the longest lasting materials on this planet so it's no wonder that for millennia we've used them to honor the memory of departed loved ones from marking their burial place with a gravestone to placing pebbles as, as an act of remembrance. The grief that follows a death is like no other. We are hurtled into the truth that we, like all of life, are impermanent and that our time here is but a breath in the lifespan of, ancient stone, of an ancient stone. When you receive this card, it could be a sign of your bond to a loved one who's passed, an unbroken connection that lasts beyond just this lifetime. Do you long to communicate with a loved one who's died? This card is a sign that you can continue to do so now. Speak to them throughout your day and be open to receiving messages from them. They may be subtle, but if you stay open, you may be surprised. If there's a particular person you've been longing to connect with, receiving this card is a way of them acknowledging your request. If this is new to you, consider ways you can nurture your connection with them. Perhaps put some time aside to light a candle and commune with them, or ask them to send you a sign and be specific about what that sign will be. Be open to this connection growing over time. And the soul inquiry um, is says, is there a loved one who's passed who you long to connect with? Take this card as a sign of your love and connection to them. All right, so maybe someone needed that message. All right, friends, that is my review of... Rebecca Campbell's Ancient Stones Oracle. And again, it's due to be released in July of 2024. So there it is, your first peek, hopefully. <laughs> your first peek of Rebecca Campbell's new deck, The Ancient Stones Oracle, and published by Hay House. All right, friends, that was it. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to my channel if you've not done so. It's completely free for you, and it helps me out a whole lot. I want you to know that I really, really appreciate you being with me today. I appreciate you more than you'll ever know. I hope you have a wonderful morning, afternoon, or evening, whatever it is where you are. And I hope to see you again soon. And remember, stay tuned for my... Um, reviews of these new decks in for June 2024, Guides of the Hidden Realms by Colette Baron reed and the 22 Archangels Oracle by Kyle Gray. And those are coming up in my next videos. Thanks for watching, friends. Bye-bye.